Hello, and welcome to the beginning of a long line of me loving the hell out of Valve. I have plans, grand, meticulous plans, to play through Half-Life, its expansions, Half-Life 2, its episodes, Portal, and its sequel, all while giving you a grand tour of the many reasons Valve is just fantastic. Now, I know what you may be thinking. <clears throat> Grr. Valve is horrible. You are just fanboy. But if you're thinking that, you're bad. And you should go, roll up a newspaper, and hit yourself on the nose with it. Because Valve is not bad. You are just grumpy. So, a little bit of history on Valve. It all began back in the mists of time when a Mr. Gabe Newell, who, due to some Microsoft-related antics, just happened to have a few million dollars lying around, and his friend, Mike Harrington, who no one really knows about because he's a bit more quiet, not as amazing as Gabe Newell. Well, no, that's harsh. I'm sure Mike Harrington is very amazing, but he keeps to himself. Therefore, we have not seen visual or audio representations of his amazingness on quite the scale we have seen Mr. Newell. So, what happened was, those two having recently discovered the joys of video games in their own lives, decided that they would make one of their own, and so they secured the licenses for the Quake engine, which was the popular shooter engine of the time, and they made this, and it was just brilliant, and together, you and I, dear viewer, will find out right now why. So, I'm going to play this game on medium, because I'm not a wuss, but I'm not a pro. A word of warning, this game was made in 1998, so if you're offended by graphics that aren't state-of-the-art, please remove your retinas now. And also, a more serious warning, this is in the time before games had subtitles, so do listen out to what people are saying, because I can't stick subtitles on, because they're just not there. Damn it, Gabe, you may care about the deaf gamer now, but in 1998, you gave not a shit. So off we go. I've rambled long enough. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is... With an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Thank you. 
continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. I wouldn't, <clears throat> I wouldn't be running late if the tram weren't so damn slow. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the legendary Black Mesa Commute. This is perhaps the first game in human history that actually shows us going to work. What do you mean it's not awesome? See, you let me in here for a second, good sir. I want to have a chat with the friendly viewers as soon as I can. So we're going to open this door up right now. Right now, Barney. Right now. Peace, Barney, by the way. All of the security guards in Half-Life are Barney, that is true. You can look at the game files for verification of that. So, we are on a chapter now called Anomalous Materials, because Valve are classic and they give their games chapters. I have no idea, <coughs> by the way, no idea how loud the game sound is compared to my voice, but we'll work all that out later. So. This is Black Mesa. As you could tell from the ride over, it's not the safest establishment ever. We saw a fair few toxic spills, and on that last tram there, I nearly missed it, but you may have caught a glimpse of a mysterious looking lantern jawed man in a blue suit. Keep an eye on him, for he is very important. Now, I've never played Half Life 1 before, I've only played from Half Life 2 onwards, um, so I don't know all of the places he could be cited, but I'll keep an eye out for him, and so should you. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. <clears throat> they were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Well, it looks like we're having system crashes all over the place, and, you know, just doesn't paint a good picture for a morning of productive scientific work. So this, as I've said, is the Black Mesa Research Facility. And again, you'll notice I'm now several minutes into the game and I'm not yet shooting people's faces off. This is literally the first shooting game, at the very least, to have any sort of build-up whatsoever. 
And in fact, Half-Life is... So. Yeah, it, it is. You're right in believing so, because it's true. Because you're scientists. But anyway, Half-Life is the first shooter game. Greetings. I'm not, it's this is Skyrim all over again, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm going to stay here in this corner. Half-Life is the first shooter game to have any sort of attempt at atmosphere. And while it's, you know, a bit aged now, what with it coming out 14 years ago, I do believe, <clears throat> it was very successful at the time at being atmospheric. And you will find many many an older gamer who will attest to this game scaring the shit out of them, despite not even being a horror. That is the power, ladies and gentlemen, of taking the time to just build things up and not, not dive into everything all the time. You know, I'm always a good advocate of a nice bit of build-up. It's good to see you too, man. I want something too. Oh yeah. I must remember to report that fluctuation. The fluctuation of the soda pop machine? So yeah, graphics are a bit basic. We have no idea what's written here, but I'm going to assume that it's I something sciencey. Containment parameters are still nominal. Containment parameters. It's a microwave. Speaking of which, let's heat this up because whatever it is, it looks like it's not really not really cooking, is it? We need to sort this out. Come on, cook, you bastard! Cook, cook now. Cook for me. God, what are you doing? I've been a bad freeman. <coughs> anyway, as I am late for work, I should, you know, start start getting ready. So this is the old locker room here. Kasali, Kuma, Birdwell, Jones, Guthrie, Guthrie. Kasali, Kuma, Birdwell, Jones, Rilla, Teasley, Bailey, Johnson and Freeman. Freeman is my name. What do I have in here? Doesn't look legal. Now who's that? Does Gordon Freeman have a son? Ooh, such mysteries. That is clearly my MIT diploma. That's a book called The 37th Mandala. Mark Laidlaw. Is that a real person? Knowing Valve, that's probably a real person. I'll have to look that up. Um, okay. So that's the health station, which we don't need yet. Oh dear, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what, I'm just going to slip my hazard suit on, and you are going to hear the first of many super funky bits of music. Don't say I didn't warn you. Prepare yourselves for the funk. Sorry. I'm still buffing along in real life. I don't want to talk to you yet. And you have a very safe too suit of mine. Barney! Got to get to work. I am, whatever that means. Greetings. Greetings, I'm late. <clears throat> right, how did... Ooh. Loading. You'll notice, by the way, that Half-Life has a lot of loading screens. They don't last long, but they're there. That's because Valve is Valve. They like their loading screens. All of their games tend to be plagued with loading screens, but, you know... Watch officer reports. Alpha satellite deploy is Who the hell do they have manning the PA? He has one hell of a throat disease. Okay, now this already feels a bit unsafe. Black Mesa just hates personal safety, don't they? Gosh, you could easily sort of fall. Oh my... If I were a scientist, which I, I'm not, I'm as, as humanities as you can get, but if I was a scientist, and I was working here, <laughs> my... I would throw up every time I did this. Hello. Hello. Oh my, again! Hello. I don't know if I'd be able to resist the temptation to just stick my hand through that mesh and 
die. Think we I'm a bit morbidly fascinated like that. So control room, Tesla pack says plasma cells. Plasma cells? What? Okay. Laser ah, caution. Hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Hello, stilted actor. It's good to see you too. So, clearly, something's going on here. I don't want to uh, make a particular joke about that because there's already a well-known... <laughs> Half-Life pseudo let's play that ribs on that, and I do not want to be accused of plagiarism. I am not trying to do a Freeman's Mind sort of thing. I am just playing the game for the first time. Well, I've played this bit before. I've played the beginning bits before, but I haven't really gotten into it before. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. That is the most sinisterly read line of dialogue in the history of the world. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Clearly, he knows that something catastrophically awful is about to happen. Spoiler alert, by the way, guys. Something catastrophically awful is about to happen. So this, it's like, you know those globes of lightning that you touch and then they all go to your hand, but you can't touch it for more than ten seconds or it starts to hurt? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's blowing up! Jeez, that could have got my eye! Fuck, we, we should not be doing experiments this morning, guys. Neither, 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 neither. Let's just call the whole thing off. Let's fix our damn stuff and go into this, you know... Just pretend that we care about personal safety, why don't we? Alright. The test chamber must be this way. Where the... Okay, you're looking at the equipment. I thought you were about to derp out and walk into the wall, but no. I should trust Valve more. Speaking of which, this game... Believe it or not, you might not believe it with your snooty 2012 snootiness, but this game was well respected for having incredible AI at the time. You'll see what I mean when I start to fight marines later on. Spoilers, we start to fight marines later on. Hello. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. That's not a good yes, idea. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. That's what she said. I can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all of this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I think these people know as well that something horrible is about to happen. Neither of them sound very confident about this. So this, the iconic room, the test chamber, where it all kicks off. Let's have a nice look around, because in a way it's quite pretty, even factoring in the 1998 graphics. It's just, you know, nice, orange. I wouldn't mind living here. Let's make a nice bedroom. Oh, gosh. Testing. Hello. Yep. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable for all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. I know everyone and their mums has made this joke, but I, the super theoretical physicist, MIT graduate, have waited my whole life for this moment pressing a button. Do you know how much education I needed to press that button? Why, you know, if I had gotten a lesser degree, I might have pressed the button below it, and then where would we be, okay? Nowhere is where we'd be. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Let's watch the magic. Good. I'm glad that it's predictable, because nothing else today has been. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I believe. Abort the damn test! Come on! And again, as a super amazing scientist, I must push little cart, so let's go. I'm sure nothing horrible will happen here. Fuck! Oh dear. Oh no. Fuck! Oh no. Jesus Christ! Soap bubbles of death! Oy vey! Where the hell did I just go? Jesus! Lego bricks! Lego bricks! Oh my god! Oh, oh, hey, oh. oh my! Uh. I do Oh my uh. And that my friends is where we'll end that first episode so join me next for the hellish aftermath of the resonance cascade Thank you for watching. I hope the slow start didn't bore you to death, and I will see you. Ow! <laughs>